Ooh, good morning, YouTube. No, you're not going outside. I'm going to leave for work in a little bit. You're not going out front. Got another cat out back right now. But this isn't a cat video. Coming in? Come on. Well, come on. There you go. Cats. So, uh, yeah, this is a uh, quick update video on the house across the street. Just it's been getting a lot of views with it. Eh, this one's not going to get a bunch, but that one where I showed you all her driving away got a whole bunch of views. But uh, this is what we're looking at now. Big improvement. Big, big, big improvement. Still got a few things there, but it's a whole lot better than it used to be. They've hauled at least two big dumpsters out of there. And uh, two or three um, trailers full of stuff. So, and that being said, last weekend she was back. Tried to get into the house. Cops were called. The uh, folks that live in the red house next door got a photo from their front door. Their back of their house is up against the back fence, but they can see into the backyard to her back door. And the, uh, she was in an RV with her little entourage. They parked over on the side of the house there. And broad daylight, tried to break into the house. So, uh, like I said, cops were called. They were told to leave. They did not. The motorhome stayed there. Uh, somebody noticed that after the cops left, there was an extension cord running from the motorhome to the house, so they were stealing power. It got cold, so I'm fighting that off right now. But, uh, yeah, finally, uh, cops came out again. Somebody called them non emergency and uh, got them kicked out of there. But, uh, yeah, you could tell they were parking for the long haul. They had the. Uh, RV up on the sidewalk so it was sitting level so it wasn't dipped down into the curb into the gutter at all so they were planning to stay for a while and then uh, apparently as they got escorted out of the neighborhood there was a issue with the motorhome and the fire department had to be called so snicker snicker serves you right but I guess uh, the son swung by with his black Camaro making all sorts of noise and so yeah, even even evicted, she's still not gone. So uh, somebody, I guess, went over and talked to the uh, one of the contractors or somebody over there doing some work on the house, <coughs> and uh, made comment to it. And now I guess they got the power shut off at the main breaker, so there's no power on the outside of the house. There's no lights on in the house anymore. Either that or they just shut the power off altogether until it gets rented. But yeah, so like I said, even after she's been evicted, she's still trying to use the house. So, and uh, I guess the uh, people next door, I heard a rumor, I was at the HOA meeting and everybody was talking about it, but uh, um, the folks that originally called it in uh, when they were talking to the police, the cops said, yeah, they've had issues with this particular RV quite frequently in the area so a lot of vagrancy and drug activity so just have to keep her eyes open on it and she's thinking she can still come in here and use this neighborhood for her own personal gains and we kind of put her foot down and said no so speaking of the HOA we were supposed to all vote on the park if it's going to get turned over to the city but that uh, the city didn't have all their uh, proposals put together. The company they hired to put the proposal together dropped the ball. So um, the guy that runs the parks department was at the meeting and he says, yeah, we've terminated the contract with that company and now they're just going to do it all themselves. So he says it may be another couple of weeks because it's just one person now, but he got most of the information from this company, paid him off and told him, yeah, see ya. So, sounds like uh, the people that show up at the meetings, and there weren't that many, there's 100 and, 
140 or 160 households in this neighborhood and um, I would say there were probably 15 of us at the meeting so pretty pretty low turnout but, but uh, everybody there is willing to sign the park over there's some people that want to sell it they think that they're gonna get money out of it no, that's probably going to go into the trust fund for the HOA. I don't think the residents would get anything out of that. So there's some opposition there. But sign it over to them. Let the city take it over. There's a lot of drug activity in that park. Although getting that house cleaned out is helping with that. I've seen a, a bit of an increase in, uh, in the clientele in this neighborhood. There's uh, not as many high school kids running around that house getting their drugs. So, but this is a neighborhood that's been getting pretty bad for that lately. This has always been kind of bad for that, but we're, I guess, starting to see a little bit of an upswing. People are getting a little ticked off, but yeah, if we get the park signed over to the city as it is right now, because it's private property, the police cannot do anything basically unless somebody calls them. And even then, I guess their hands are kind of tied. So if we sign it over to the city, then the cops have free reign in that park. And they can kick people out whenever they're doing something illegal. And they can shut things down, you know, at dusk or whatnot. So, yeah, I think hopefully that's going to go through. They're putting together a door-to-door um, -to -door campaign to uh, solicit votes even thinking about making up a couple of little signs and laminating them and putting them in the front yard kind of like the uh, what the uh, politicians do at election time see how that goes over but uh, next meeting we've got a uh, neighborhood watch meeting that I'm going to attend that's actually on a Saturday so I should be able to hit that normally the HOA meetings are on Tuesday nights so I have to take the night off don't like doing that but at least trying to get a little more involved with it because there are a couple more houses like what's across the street in the area so they're clearing things out and uh, if we get rid of the park we don't have to pay the sixty some thousand dollars a year to have the park mowed and maintenance and insurance liabilities and blah 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 so uh, a lot of people are saying oh we're gonna drop the dues and the lawyer that runs the HOA says no we're gonna keep the dues the same says they may even go up a little bit says they've been doing about three and a half percent a year we're still very low what do I pay it's like forty two dollars a quarter so I mean that's what hundred and seventy hundred and eighty dollars a year roughly so that's nothing but you know most people they want more for free more for less but he uh, says, yeah, that's more money that we could put into, they're talking about uh, upgrading the mailboxes, having those uh, lockbox type style, uh, but those are very expensive. Uh, talking about uh, upgrades to the clubhouse, uh, there will be money that there's, if we can see it from here, I think, yeah, that row of trees back there. Those are owned by the homeowners association. I guess they hold a big insurance. Uh, what you gonna call it on those in case they fall over? Because uh, there's homes alongside there, <coughs> and it's an easement for something right through there. It's not for the power lines, but yeah, the lawyer was saying, you know, if we get enough money saved up, we can have those trees removed, and then that's more insurance money that we don't have to pay. No more um, deductibles that we have to cover and lower our insurance rates. So that would be more money that we could put into the neighborhood. Possibly street improvements, sidewalk improvements, things like that. So, anywho, there you go. There's your quick little update what's going on in my neighborhood. Big thing is the uh, house across the street looking much better. Even though it still looks like a dump, it's uh, looking much better. And, uh, Hoping to see a little more activity over there, rebuild-wise, but it's still just a couple weeks in. They may have a schedule, they may have other homes they're working on, budgeting and all that. So, 
there has been some activity uh, a group of um, I'm gonna call them college kids were over there they were the ones doing the clean out and then Monday I saw a gal over there I don't know what she was doing she was mostly spending time in her car but you know you can definitely tell the people that are over there that need to be over there are driving nicer vehicles they're a little more business oriented the people that don't need to be there are driving beat up smashed up junk and they're scruffier looking so it's pretty easy to tell who needs to be there so anywho there you go I'm gonna head off to work here now yeah, I won't have enough time to upload this but we'll do that tonight when I get home so here's your latest and greatest I've got bunches and bunches of videos I need to go through and slowly uh, get those into the YouTubes so did some bill paying today that hurt a little bit apparently my automatic bill pay stopped on the Lake Stevens sewer bill so that was a big big bill but now I can't figure out how to get it set back up so I'll have to watch that every month or call them so anyhow we'll catch y'all later be good bye bye